important teams today in Ivy on Ivy matchups. If all three home teams win, Princeton would have a chance to host the Ivy League tournament with a long Princeton program history. First possession so important. The jitters today, it feels like a playoff game, feels like a championship game, and it is senior day. Here's the senior, Brown whistles it wide with eight seconds left on the shot clock. Chris Brown, we talked about him in the pregame open. 28 goals, too shy of a 30-30 season. Sam English, though, gets the scoring started for the sixth time in 13 games. English has the Tigers' first goal. 1-0 Princeton, a minute and a half in. That's the thing about this Princeton offense, Cody. It's always the player you haven't mentioned yet that seems to rise to the occasion. That's how deep. And just look at the ground ball totals for this team. John Piatelli with 36 ground balls. C.J. Kirst, an attackman with 35 as they get on the board. The big 6'3 sophomore righty, Hugh Kelleher with the equalizer. Two minutes in, 1-1 the score here in Princeton. No ground balls necessary there. Look at that shot. Testing Eric. Line him in midfield after Aiden Blake, a New Jersey native, went down with an injury at the midway point. Turning the corner, Michael Long with his 19th and Cornell with back-to-back -back goals. Just a beautiful take by Michael Long. Another New Jersey product out of Mendham. Went to Del Barton, one of the powerhouses in the Garden State. Princeton's clearing effort will start with freshman Molshon. Here's Kirst in a wide open net. Failed clear, cause turnover, and a goal by Kirst. Three in a row for the Big Red. And you see why it's so important to get into your ride. They roll that into the corner, and wow, what an under. Back through English quickly, in and out of the stick of Vardaro to Brown. Gets around the pole, gets centered, draws the slide, sets up Mackesy. The senior to the freshman, and it's a one goal game. And that's how Chris Brown has changed his game, was relied on as a goal scorer. And as I mentioned in the open, the emergence of a freshman like Coulter Mackesy. Under number 12, first year starter for the Tigers, doesn't need a lot of space to get the hands free. Chris Brown goes low, rolls it in, and we're tied at three. Brown had the last assist, and Chris Brown picks up the goal number 99 in his career. Well, Brown does the distributing on the first goal. He does the goal scoring here. Flap checks. Base billing, such a talented deep, and all of a sudden, pretty young Princeton defense. He's a sophomore. There it is again. There's a junior, Michael Long, with his second. Gets above goal line, extended. Cornell with a 4-3 lead here in the first quarter. Rinse and repeat when it comes to that move for Michael Long. Get above goal line, extended. Extend the hands, increase your angle, and he beats Peters to the far side. You're watching if all the automatic qualifiers went as expected, which I doubt. CJ Kirst has another one with a fist pump to put the Big Red on top here in the first quarter. And you hear the Big Red faithful. They traveled in numbers down from Ithaca, and for good reason. Kirst just finds space when the slide leaves him. He just slowly moves back from Bon, increases his angle to the center. Here as a junior. Peters ranges out, net is open. Curse turning the corner, the dive. Officials get together and it's a goal. 6-3, big red. We'll take another look. Eric Peters, that's twice he's coming out when they're hung up behind the goal. He cannot catch up there. It's a backhanded scoop. Look at the IQ from CJ Kirst. The goalie comes out wide with 46 goals. Pass out in front, scoop by Piatelli, turns and goes top shelf. I don't know what was more impressive, the handle or the goal. Again, it's composure. Piatelli, tough handle, makes it look easy. Goal makes it look easy and then just walks away. No big deal, it's a huge deal. The right adjustments. And look what they've done away from home so far here in the first. Clean face-off win by Sandoval. Gets it into Slusher on the doorstep. Mackesy and the Tigers get one back. Back, we re-dodge from behind. Too easy for Cornell once they get above goal line extended. You wondered who the matchups would be. They put Molshine on Piatelli, and Piatelli gets the better of the freshman that time. 
Five goal lead for Cornell here in the second quarter. It's nine to four. From Matt Madelon, it might be time for a timeout just to reset here. That time, Piatelli, patient, patient, left hand, left hand, feels the defender on his back. When the defender goes over, he comes to his right. Trying to muscle up on, he gives it up. Ryan Sheehan has it stripped away from behind by Sam English. Sammy English looking to run, he clears it across for the Tigers. Cornell has numbers back. English gets below his man in transition. He's got his Prince second, and the Tigers cut it to four. Let's take a look. It's a stick check. Cornell was looking to rotate, but English was in the way, and then it's just a track meet. There were no numbers until right about now. That's all the space English needed to beat Erlen. Creep up on the four minute mark in the second quarter. There's the slide from Princeton early on goal line extended, but they don't get back to the crease. Billy Coyle has another one. He was the man left unmarked on the doorstep. At least I think that was Coyle. A lot of traffic in front of Peters and Cornell opening up their largest lead of the afternoon at 11 to five. So when you're talking about defensive communication, you'll hear slide and you'll hear, you'll hear help. The slide started coming. No, that was Lachardi. Five Tawaratan nominees. Peters had that remarkable stretch early in the season. There's a setup in front, a shot and a goal, Michael Long. We'll take a look here. Again, the slide's there. The slide starts going. It's Ben Finley, 10. He starts going. Teams tied atop the Ivy League standings at 3-2. and two. The winner of this game guarantees a spot in the Ivy Tournament. Shot on the run, and there's another goal to open the second half. Billy Coyle. As I said, Coyle, talk about Kirst, can talk about Piatelli, but Coyle will sneak up on you. But you've got to be ready for number 11. The quick catch and a score. They've had the possessions to get those shots. Fardaro nearly able to get Princeton on the board here in the second half. Will he try again? Fardaro gets under his man and gets one back for the Tigers before he goes into the head first slide. Just the on the run, great shot. Saves. It still says one save for Chase Erlin. Put the shots on goal, make him make stops. He hasn't been tested. Tigers get one back. Couple of early tallies in the second quarter. Mackesy. Mackesy. He makes it look easy. He's so calm, cool, and collected. Just a stick fake, and again, like you're in the backyard. He's like, I'll shoot it. Really important possession for the Tigers. 13-8 is a completely different ball game. Largest the lead got was 13-5, and there's the third straight for the Tigers, Sam English. Back to it's the It's still a five-goal Cornell lead, but the Tigers, for the first time today, have some momentum. There's a reason they've been so successful at home. They love the home field advantage, the momentum that the fans give them. Fourth in the Ivy League. Second man up of the day for the Big Red. Big opportunity for the Big Red to reclaim momentum. Princeton, an area they've struggled. Man down defense, fourth in the Ivy League. Kerr steps into it and burns it home to get one back. A man up goal for the Big Red. And the Cornell lead back to five midway through the third quarter. And when you talk about the change in momentum, when Princeton scores those consecutive goals and chips away, the one goal by Cornell just feels so big. And Kirst comes through with no surprise. Maybe seven 20. seniors. Opportunity for Darrow, maybe the Tigers' best outside shooter, left unmarked from the near side wing. He's a game changer with the outside shot, and he takes that outside shot a lot of different ways. He can go low to low, he can go high to high, or he can go with a little bit of the sidearm. Let's take a look at that one. Erlen thought he... On the returning starter, Alex Slusher, the obvious choice to 
Slide down from midfield. They were looking at Vardaro. Here's Stevens on the run off the Sandoval faceoff win. Princeton cuts it to four. Well, if, if, if you went away from us before halftime and you just turned the game back, welcome back to Princeton Cornell. The game we expected is here. Jake Steve five goal loss to Maryland actually helped them in the RPI. The loss last week and they move up in RPI. Vardaro steps into it, hit the pipe, but the put back by Mackesy. Right place at the right time for the freshman. What a day for him. He's got four. Princeton has cut it to two. This hit two pipes? One, two. It I did. And the goalie. Piatelli trying to force the pass. Another ground ball. Here's a shot on the move and a goal. Great concentration and effort by Spencer Wertheim. Wertheim, a smooth operator, right along goal line extended. Look at this stick skill, just drops the stick at the last second. Holy room with Rackauer and Gian Fricaro, but they've stuck with the senior captain. You love going with the guy that got you here, but wow, there he is. You knew he'd break through. First goal of the day for Alex Slusher, number 41 on the season to lead the Tigers, and it's back to one. 40 goals, you knew he had to find one in the biggest game of the season, right? And he does. Little sidewinder, great accuracy by number. So 20 on the timer. Kelleher behind his man, works it to X. They've got him hung up. Not a lot of time, though, 13 to shoot. Michael Long above goal line extended back out to the midfield. Seven on the shot clock. Piatelli, Ivy League's leading goal scorer, gets underneath Molshine and scores. With three seconds on the shot clock, Cornell goes back up by two. And that move when he got to the crease was elite. Take a look at this. It's in his left hand. He drops his stick and then brings it over Peters at the last minute. That's a goal you see at the next level pretty routinely. It's Dartmouth. Princeton hosts the Ivy League tournament. If all three home teams win, so that would be Princeton, that would be Yale, and that would be Brown. Turning the corner, Long somehow Ooh. finds an angle. Right upper 90 around Eric Peters for his third of the day. Back-to-back -back goals, and the Cornell lead is back up to three. His first two looked identical, and I thought this one might too, until... There is in the Ivy League tournament. The loser would need a lot of help. Shot by Sam English. He's had a huge Saturday afternoon to cut it to two. Fifth goal of the day for Sam English. That's a new career high for number 15. Timeout on the field, we'll step away. 5.22 to go, fourth quarter. Sam English rolls it in his fifth of the day, and it's a two of them gravel on the other side. <laughs> 13 on the shot clock, goal is open. Piatelli seals it. That's it. Tigers kind of do the math, and you say, okay, how much time is left where we think we can get two? Tigers trying one last ditch effort to body up Piatelli, but time expires and the Cornell Big Red. Final score, Cornell 18. In a week and a game that means a little bit more after the passing of their longtime head coach, Richie Moran, the Cornell Big Red.